patient with me right now who has a really bad hammer toe. Um, the problem with the hammer toe is it's so rigid, it's rubbing on her shoes, so she can only wear open-toed shoes, which is great in Florida, but sometimes it does get cold, like today, it's under 70 degrees, so it's a little bit cold for people like me who get used to the hot weather, and people like um, my patient who's 83 years old and um, doesn't like the cold and doesn't want to wear open-toed shoes. So what do we have to do? We have to get this toe down just a little bit because it's contracted upward. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna have you look at this toe right here and you can see, you can see how it's up in the air compared to the other ones. And this is what keeps rubbing and that keeps opening up into an open sore. So if we were to go in and make an incision across here, take this, the um, cornified tissue out of there and try to sew her up, she has a high chance because of her age of not healing or having the wound dehiss, which means that the wound would open up and not heal completely um, and she'd have a major issue. So our goal today is really can we get this toe to drop down just a little bit? So it's kind of hanging on there so she can wear a closed shoe. If you look at this foot over here, it was done on this foot, I believe, where she um, does not have that issue. And you can see, no, even though, too. did you have that procedure on this foot? Yeah. I haven't had a no, procedure okay. on that at all. But it's just low enough, and you can see mm -hmm. how it's dropped down, mm -hmm. that it doesn't bother her. But this, yeah. this, uh, this is still contracted a little bit here. Yeah but it's not bothering her because it doesn't hit the top of the shoe and it doesn't open up. Right. This one is just severe. Okay. So we're gonna try this. Sometimes, once in a while, it doesn't give her the full result and we have to just accommodate by having to wear an open-toed shoe or a shoe with a real wide toe box. So I numbed her up and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a, a small stamp incision on the top of the toe at the metatarsal phalangeal joint, which is right, I can actually feel the tendon here and I'm gonna have her do something. Pull your toe towards your nose, this toe right here. So we can actually see the tendon. Pull it as hard as you can, as hard as you can. And that way I can feel the tendon. The tendon, this is the extensor tendon, comes down here, and the joint itself is right here. Okay, you can relax it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a stab incision right in that area, right here, and we're gonna cut that tendon, actually. So I'm gonna make the stab incision this way um, for healing purposes. It'll, if, if, this, if this toe bends, it won't make the little wound gap open. So I'm gonna stab incision right here, and I've already numbed her up. So now what I'm gonna do is I turn my blade, okay? And I'm at the level of that joint. Whoop, I'm gonna put it back in. At the level of the joint, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna snap this tendon. So you can sometimes hear it. You hear that? It sounds like celery. Uh-huh. You hear that? Yeah, yeah. So the patient hears it too. I can't feel it, but yep. I'm here. And I'm going, I'm right on the top of the joint right now. So I'm gonna make sure I get the whole tendon. And I'm gonna have you try to pull your toe towards your nose again. So she, now it's harder for her because I've snapped it. So we're gonna make sure we get every bit of this. Sometimes you only get a little bit of it and it doesn't snap completely. No pain, correct? No pain. Okay. And I'm gonna go side to side. I'm right over the top of the joint. I can actually feel the joint itself here. And we're gonna cut the joint itself too. That's called a capsulotomy. Go ahead and try to pull it again. Okay. And there's a little bit more that needs to be cut. There we go. And I'm up, yep, yeah, it's on the top of the joint. That was the joint itself. Uh -huh. Great. And try to pull again. Can you pull? Pull, pull, pull. And you see she's trying to pull right now because of the tendon snap. Try to pull it. I'm trying. Okay, good. And Very that's what we're hoping, that she can't feel anything. Nope. And, well, that she can't pull it up. So right. now I'm going to have you pull your toes towards your nose again. Okay. So it comes up a little, but she can barely pull. There's Nothing's really coming up. It's really the other ones and the contracture of the skin that's pulling that up. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. you see how that toe is dropped now? Yeah, it is. You see the difference? So the toe is dropped, so we got it out of the way. I'm gonna have you pan down again so you can see it again. Now wiggle your toes for everybody. So she's wiggling and what's happening is the skin and the other toes that are making it move. Mm -hmm. But the reality of it is with the shoe on here, and if you look, you can see how my hand is here. Over it, it's not gonna push on that anymore. There's more of a gap right there. So this is gonna be great when it heals. I'm gonna I'm gonna bandage this in a position like this. Okay, good. Overcorrected, okay? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the patient says, good, great. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. And I'm gonna do that because when it heals, this area right here where I cut the tendon, mm -hmm. this will actually grow back together, but it'll be in a lengthened position and it won't be as strong. Uh -huh. So you might be able to move it up a little bit, but not as much. 
but this is gonna actually help the situation. And we're gonna revisit this probably in a month or so so you can see how this heals up, maybe yeah. maybe six weeks. Uh -huh. So we can actually see how this is doing. And this should actually look better and better every day. Oh if you look God. closer, you can see that's where she was getting the open sore and it's still somewhat oh, yeah. um, raw in that area, right? Yeah. And it's actually, still painful. always raw. Yep, okay. So I'm gonna suture this up actually because I see a little hole here, <laughs> just to be sure. First, I'm gonna put a little bit of betadine on here. Over the hole, we're gonna drip a little bit of it in that hole. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually gonna put this in the hole itself. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get a little bit of betadine in there. And I'm gonna throw a suture across there just because with older people, especially if you're a three-year-old, they have thin skin. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that thing to, um, to open up and, and cause her any issues. Okay. Now, do you live alone? No, no, I have okay, a husband. Okay, 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 and two okay. dogs. <laughs> the dogs can help you with, with um, taking care of the, the surgery. Oh, yes. The surgery afterwards, right? The post op care? Yeah, because my husband works. <laughs> He's gone all day. Okay, let's see here. And get this. No, we don't want any kind of animals licking this. That would not be no, good. No, no, they wouldn't do that. They don't have any desire to lick it. I've had my feet, you know, with various medicines and stuff. And they don't come anywhere near it. <laughs> For some reason, animals are attracted to wounds. They must smell the blood or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't had any bloody. Well, except for when that top part would bleed. But, and I'm barefoot always in the house. But then you can see your skin's real thin. You see what's happening there? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's mm -hmm. kind of bunching up a tiny bit there. Yeah, okay. But we're going to throw this one suture. This should be good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And. This is some nylon that we're using. Uh -huh. Oops. Nylon suture here. It didn't feel a thing when you sutured it. And I'm going to have my camera person actually cut this. But I had a little trouble there. There we go. So bigger than normal suture than we would use. Oh, cut right there. Yep. And then cut the other piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. A little bit shorter. So. Well, I'll have a tickle. <laughs> a little piece of. So we're going to give this a little haircut here. Yeah. Pull that off. That okay, so now we have a straighter toe. Try to wiggle your toe one more time. Good. I so it's real it's weak. Very, it's very weak. It's out of the way. Yeah. Okay, and we'll do a follow up video, like I said, in probably four to six weeks so you can see how it is. She's going to be really happy with this because she'll be able to wear a closed in shoe starting in three days, which is great. She'll be able to get into a shoe. I'll probably have her wear an open toed sh shoe until she comes in in a week, and then we'll get her back into a closed in shoe as long as I see that the skin healed up. And that's it. So this is a very quick, easy way to get rid of the problem. Doesn't make the toe look pretty, but it does get it out of the way and she's more functional and she'll be very happy.